Must refrain from making bad check puns. Must refrain from making bad check puns. So, Czechoslovakia in 1972 made their own adaptation of Jane Eyre, Jana Erova? I'm not going to try to pronounce any more <laughs> Czech words because it won't go well. From what little information I've gathered, it was a four hour long adaptation and I cannot find the whole thing anywhere, which is extremely frustrating because, wow, the four or five clips of this version that I saw really impressed me. I have only been able to find five clips. The horse scene, the fire scene, and the proposal scene, and some very nice person put um, English subtitles with those three clips. And then there's a clip that's called Poetry, and that doesn't have subtitles, so I'm not really sure where that fits in things. And then there's a fifth clip, which is the ending, and there's about ten seconds of Jane and Rochester, and then the end credits with a focus on the music. I really wish I could find more on the internet because I really enjoy these clips and I think it must be a good version if these clips are any indication. Uh, it's different. There are definitely some different things about it and there are some things that are dated, but, um, well. I wanted to do things as much in order as possible so I watched the horse scene first. It was like all things were working together to lure me in um, because I was first arrested by the music. It had low strings, cello, and then the piano came in and then it was just building as Jane is walking through this spooky forest and then I, I just find something really appealing about the cinematography. It's not super great quality. It was made for a TV, I believe, but there was something that grabbed me about the stark contrast of the black and white. Um, in the picture, the trees are so black, and then the ground is a very light gray, almost like there's snow, but not quite, and then there's Jane in the center, and the symmetry was really appealing, and then there's just this solitary figure all in black, and it just really grabbed me. As far as the actors go, this Rochester doesn't seem angry or growly. Uh, he's not bad looking either. It actually kind of reminded me of Orson Welles with a beard goatee thing. It was interesting. He's much calmer more sedate, at least from these small clips. In general, a different interpretation. But I found him likable. I found both of them likable. As far as the fire scene went, I thought it was a little weak in terms of how much fire there was in the room and smoke and water and everything, and Rochester was really chill when she woke him. But I enjoyed the way the two leads interacted with each other. There's just something very gentle and sweet about it. It especially came through in the proposal scene, which was set up rather different from other proposal scenes. I really liked the dialogue, which seemed to be a combination of what was canon and what was not. At least I liked it as it was translated. There was a reference to the gypsy scene, and boy would I have liked to see that. Of the actual proposal, sweet seems like such a trite word to use for it, but that was just what struck me. It's very calm and warm. There's not a lot said between the two of them, as if it doesn't need to be said. And knowing me, I should be a little more irritated that it's not canonical, it's not as tempestuous as it should be, but I don't know, I liked it. I I liked it being different. I don't always like things different, but in this case, I enjoyed it. The clip that's called Poetry, it has Jane riding around in a carriage talking, and then it has the post-wedding scene. The music was just absolutely...
listening to this music and watching Jane cry, it made me feel emotional. I was almost moved to tears, and that doesn't usually happen to me when I watch Jane Eyre. This, there are certain things that I cry over, and Jane Eyre has never been one of them, but I felt emotional for some strange reason. Music can really do that to you. So that's what I got out of these clips of 1972 Check Jane Eyre. Thanks for watching!